everyone, it's me, Victoria. And me, Jonas. And welcome to The, the Cars, Cars Garage. Garage. The Cars Garage is a place to learn, play, and create awesome things from the world of Pixar cars. Okay, we have our popsicle sticks. Check. School glue. Sticky check. XRS Rocket Racing diecast singles, which are sold separately. Check, check. Hey guys, what you up to? Miles! That's me. Hey Miles, in our video about propelling cars, you have this awesome homemade elastic band mechanism that launched your car super fast. Oh yeah, my die caster. That was awesome. Well now we're trying to make one ourselves. You mind helping us out? Are you kidding? Let's DIY this up. Oh, oh yeah! D! I! Y! Yeah! All right, before we start building our die caster, let's understand some of the science behind how these simple contraptions work. The secret to their car launching power is potential energy. This type of energy is stored in an object based on its position or height, like a bike at the top of a hill ready to roll down. Or in the case of our die casters, two rubber bands that are stretched tight and ready to snap forward. You see, all the potential energy stored in those tight rubber bands is transferred to the cars, propelling them forward. Now that we know a little more about how potential energy works, let's get to building. All right, you guys ready to get started? Yeah! Sweet. Before we do, just remember that there's no right or wrong way to do this build. If it doesn't work at first, just keep at it until it does. And always make sure you have an adult supervisor like myself there to help out. You got it. All right, let's get started. All right, first step is we're gonna take these cardboard strips, which I already pre-cut. Each get one. Thank that you. works too. And we're gonna get some glue. Okay, got the glue. Next, we're gonna take these popsicle sticks, which I already cut in half. Okay, all And right. we're gonna grab four at a time. Here you go. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna glue oh. them together and stack them together. Okay. So get some glue. Got my glue. And you don't need a lot. So we're gonna do five of these four popsicle stick stacks. So five. I already have one down, but. Four to go. So once you have four, so see how here, I'm stacking those together and I'm using the binder clip to hold them kind of like a clamp. Okay, two down, three to go. You're on a roll. How did you do it so fast, Miles? I got years of experience. Oh, That's yeah. why. Miles, please clamp mine. You got it, sir. Yay. Ready? Yep. Yay. Yay. We're done. What? that? Not quite. Really? Yep, there's a couple more steps. Oh, you, yeah. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> All right, so while those dry, we're gonna grab our cardboard and move on to the next phase. So for this one, we're each gonna need four full-size popsicle sticks. Here you go, Victoria. <laughs> you know, okay, there you go, that works too. <laughs> so, we're gonna need our glue again. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue, I'll just show you first, we're gonna glue two down, I like to call this hot dog style, because it's long. You guys know hot dog style and hamburger style? Yeah. It's like that. And when you do this, you can grab a car. We want it to be just wide enough for the car to fit. If it's too wide, they don't fire as straight. So once you've got the top glued on, mm -hmm. we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna glue two more on either end, hamburger style, so that the ends hang off. And just try and kind of center it as best you can. So let's set these aside for a second. You're in front right here. And you're gonna grab one of your, your quad stacks. Quad stack. And then we're gonna each grab one more popsicle stick. Thank you. Victoria. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to glue the half stack onto a full popsicle stick right in the middle. So if your other stacks are ready to go, you can take the binder clips off. Okay. 
Now we're gonna attach these to the main frame. Like this? Exactly. On each side. Exactly. Okay. You got it. I got it. So next step, we're gonna take three more sticks. Here you go. Thank you. So we're gonna start with one, and we're gonna glue it across the top. The top, kind of making a little bridge. So you're gonna put a little glue on there. There. Yeah, perfect. And so this is going to be the back the of back. the launcher. The front is going to stay open so that the cars can oh, yeah. come out. And then we're going to take our other two sticks and we're going to do another kind of bridge across this part. And so we just do a little dab of glue on each end. I need the pen real quick, so sure. I can make it very, very. What color? Blue, please. And stick. Trying to make them perfectly lined up. Stick. All okay. right, what's next? Let's uh, clean up our stations while the glue dries and get ready for the last steps. Okay. All right, All right. hands in. Go. It's uh, uh. Okay, so our glue is dry. Now it's time for the last steps. Ready? All right. Okay. Step one is we've got this part which we glued together, which is, I, I call it the sled. This is the part that actually pushes the car forward. So we're gonna, you kind of turn it sideways and you're gonna slide it in. Down here? Yeah. This and then it's locked in. And this is, this is kind of how the launcher works. So we have to add some rubber bands to give it that potential energy and fire the cars forward. So we're gonna take two of the rubber bands. Blue ones? Yeah. Two? Yep, so take two of your rubber bands, one at a time, and you're gonna go to the front of your launcher, and we're gonna go like a little loop, and then you're gonna put one end of the rubber band through the loop, and then once you get the loops done, you put the other end onto your sled, and that's what gives you that launcher power. So next step is you kind of do a similar thing. You, you pull and twist and wrap around. I can help with that part. This is what an cool. adult supervisor is for. This Almost part, got it. This part's pretty tricky. This is why you always want a helper. Hand me another one of those blue rubber bands. I'll show you the next step, Jonas, is we're just gonna wrap that around a couple times and that's gonna keep the first rubber band on. One in. This end. part is tricky. Go in. Okay. All right, next step is kind of like the last one. We're gonna take our last four rubber bands and we are going to wrap them around each of the little supports. Okay. Okay. So just like this, I'll show you. So we, do we need as, four. We want to do it as close to the top rails as possible. Like this? Exactly. And this is going to help hold the launcher together as well as act as little rubber feet so it doesn't slide around when we are launching. This is the easiest rubber band step. Yes, agreed. We do it on both sides too? Yep, all four sides. And on this one, it also helps hold that end of the rubber band okay. down. You guys are doing great. Thank you. You have some serious DIY skills. Yes. You do too. Thanks. I'm done. All right. So this next step is a lot easier to do with the help of adult supervisor. But basically, you're gonna take one of your binder clips and you are going to clip it to the front of your sled. And then you're gonna very carefully remove the clippy parts, like that. And that's gonna be what pushes your actual car. And then you're gonna take your other binder clip and just put it through that back popsicle stick. And that's gonna be the release. Ooh. And that is our finished launcher. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. Can we decorate these bad boys? You read my mind, Jonas. Just like Lightning McQueen or any other race car, these die casters will be better with some style. I'm gonna decorate mine like Cruz Ramirez. I'm going with Jackson Storm. I'm gonna go with my pal, Lightning McQueen. Oh yeah. Let's get started. Yeah. All right, let's decorate these bad boys, huh? Yeah. Just throwing out some ideas. We could use some markers, maybe on some of these popsicle sticks. We've got some construction paper. We could add some stripes. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go with red. I'm going Lightning blue. McQueen. 
I'm going with yellow for Cruz Ramirez. I'm going with blue for Jackson Stewart. Oh man, this is gonna look so cool. I don't have the science to back this up, but I think it's gonna make him go faster. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut some strips of this construction paper with my safety scissors. I'm gonna add like a strip of paper maybe on either side where our hands go. Okay. And then maybe even like a skinny stripe down the middle. That's a good idea. And then I'm gonna do one skinny stripe right down the middle. I'm gonna make my stripe yellow. Nice. Hey, Victoria, you wanna pass me some of that blue construction paper? I could make you yeah. a stripe for the middle. Thank you. Cool. Jonas, what do you think, buddy? You want a blue stripe too for your die caster? Yeah, please. All right. Two stripes coming up. It's a perfect block One too. stripe for you. Now that I Thank think you. about it, it's pretty good. One stripe Check. for Jonas. Thank you. You're welcome. These things are looking awesome. Oh yeah. There's only one thing left to do, test them. How about a friendly race or two? You're on. Oh, Ooh. it's on. Quick little safety tip before we get racing, never point your die caster at people or pets. You got it, Miles. Yeah, you got it. Are you ready to race? Yeah! Oh, I'm ready. Woo! I can't Woo! hear you. Yeah! Wait. I can hear you now. Okay, Jackson Storm versus Cruz Ramirez. Oh, yeah. Put Here it on the we track. go. Start your engine. Boom, boom, boom. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, Cruz Ramirez wins by a hair. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Best two out of three. Oh, yeah. All right, race number two. Are you ready? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Three, two, one, go! Oh, I think, I don't know, it's too close to the call! Cut to the slow mo! It seemed like a tie. I think it was a tie! Yeah! Yeah! It's our final race of the day Victoria versus Jonas. Are you ready? Start your engines. Bim, bim, bim. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Cruz Ramirez win! learning how to make our own die caster today. And we learned all about potential energy too. Yeah, thanks for all your help, Miles. Of course, I love helping with DIY projects. Thanks for joining us here in the Cars Garage. And we'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye. Meep, meep. Meep. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Elisha. And I'm Jonas. And welcome to The, the Cars, Cars Garage. Garage. The Cars Garage is a place to learn, play, and create awesome things from the world of Pixar Cars. Hey Jonas, if you could build your own dream racetrack, what would it look like? Well, to start, I'd have a super tall ramp so the cars would go super fast. 
and a stun jump, and an awesome finish area. What if I told you we could build a dream racetrack just like that, right here in the garage, right now? With our pal Miles, we can DIY anything. Did someone say DIY? Miles! Hey guys, I heard you're looking to make your own DIY track. We sure are. Thanks for coming to help us out. Are you kidding? Building awesome projects like this using stuff you can find around the house is one of my favorite things to do. Cool. cool. Just remember that there's no right or wrong way to DIY. If you want to change things up, use different materials, that's awesome. Just make sure and have an adult supervisor like myself there to help. You guys ready to get started? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five. Okay, we're ready to build. What's first, Miles? First, we gotta cut up a bunch of scrap cardboard so we can build the frame of our track. Lucky for you guys, I sort of really enjoy cutting cardboard and already did that part. Here it is. <laughs> Whoa, you weren't kidding. Nope. Okay, so we got the cardboard. What's next, Miles? Well, you said you wanted your track to start with a tall ramp. So why don't you guys build a tall tower while I work on some of the smaller supports in the finish area? Sounds good to me. Let's, Let's build, build this! Hey, Miles, which way should we do it? The shorter one is gonna be the front. Okay. And then you can see how the these ones have ones. like an angle right there. Okay. Top of the angle attached okay. to the tallest one. Okay. So you probably wanna start there. Well, Miles, you're really good. I actually majored in cardboard in college, so. Have you finished the finish area yet? No. How's that side of the tower coming? Pretty good, pretty good. Once you guys finish each side, we'll can then connect ah, those. Oopsies. Got it? And remember, kids should always use safety scissors. Ready? Ching. And after that, let's connect ours. Woo! We did oh, it! Yeah! We did it! Woo! Guys, this looks awesome. So I think, let's see. Go right here. Okay, Wait, okay. But what about the ramp? So that's the next step. But we got all our supports. We've got the big tall tower and then the ramp's gonna come down. This is the first support, and then it's gonna curve up into the and jump. And then it will jump, right? And then there'll be no track here, and then the landing, and then the finish area. I don't even know if we have enough room on this table. <sighs> I don't know. When are we gonna make the ramp? We're gonna do that next. Oh yeah. All right, so we got our supports all laid out. Now it's time to build the actual track. We're gonna use these wide strips as the road and these thin strips as the sidewalks. Awesome, Miles. Why don't you start at the tall tower while Elijah and I start at the finish line and we'll work our way to the middle. Good thinking, let's do it. Oh yeah. You know what? I think this table is not long enough for our track. Yeah, I don't I, think so. I got an idea. Very nice, very nice, okay. That makes sense. That should be enough space. So I'm gonna start bending this. One down, 49 more to go. <laughs> Almost done with the this side of the jump. Hey, Miles! Whee! That was awesome! Whoa! Looking good over there, guys. I bet you that Mater's gonna wanna do this. Pretty good. Wow, great job, guys. Man, we have our super tall stun ramp, our jump, and our finish area. Man, this track is awesome. It's awesome, but I know a way we can make it even more awesome. What if we added a tunnel? And something for the cars to jump through. And we could decorate it to make it look like Radiator Springs. It'll be our own car's minister. Sounds like I get to cut some more cardboard. Yeah, dude. Let's get to work. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Remember, only adult supervisors should use a hot glue gun. So don't rock, check. Testing the fair start, now. Wow, guys, this track looks amazing. Thanks for all your help, Miles. Are you kidding? This was definitely a team effort. But now that the track is ready to race, I think you guys got it from here. I'm gonna head out. Well, the decorations are set, and the story is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we present to you our new addition to Radiator Springs. That's right. Mater has built this whole track for his friend Lightning McQueen and has invited several next-gen racers to test their skills on it. Remember, all of these cars die-cast singles sold separately. Okay, so here's how it works. The cars will start at the top of the hill and ride all the way down the ramp and jump through the cozy cone. From there, the cars will go through Sarge's surplus hut and cross the finish line into Mater's towing and salvage yard. We also have the grandstands for everyone to watch from. Let's get to racing! Yeah! Woo! All right, the first race is Lightning McQueen versus Jackson Storm. On your mark, get set, go! Lightning Queen wins! Okay, it's my turn to race. So this next race is with Ryan Inside Lady and Harvey Rodcap. See? Get the race in! First Harvey Rodcap, Ryan Inside Lady. On your mark, get set, go! go! Ooh, that's a close and one. Harvey Rodcap wins. Is the winner. For the third race, we have Tim Trendless versus Jonas Carvers. On your mark, get set, go! Tim Trendless won. Yeah, woo! So this last race is with Michael Roeder and Noah Gocek. On your marks. Get wait set. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'm ready. Go! My Woo! win! Yeah! No! He Woo! did it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! But what happened to Noah Gochek? He's still in Sarge's surplus. There Maybe he, he needed to get some, uh, some gas or uh, something like that. Man, I can't believe we built such a cool racetrack with simple materials. And thanks again for the help from our friend Miles. You know, I'm still feeling creative. Let's think of some more car stories we could act out. Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks for joining us today in the Cars Garage. Bye! Bye!